So we have this question which says the value of the universal gravitational constant is g equals 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square per kilogram square. The value of g in the units of per gram centimeter cube second square is the options as given are 6.67 into 10 power minus 8 option b 6.67 into 10 power minus 7 option c 6.67 into 10 power minus 9 and option d 6.67 into 10 power minus 10 now first of all what is the given value the given value is g equals 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square per kilogram squared now the question being asked is we have to convert this unit that is newton meter square per kilogram square into the units of per gram per centi centimeter cube per second square per gram centimeter cube second square now first of all we have to convert the units from the SI system to the CGS system now for that we have Newton can be written as kg meter per second square that is force is given as mass into acceleration now the next thing is given as meter square and kilogram squared now overall if we see we have that kilogram power is 1 here the kilogram power is 2 minus 2 here that is going to give us kilogram power minus 1 similarly we have meter power 1 and meter power 2 that is going to give us meter power 3 and that is followed by the second square which is the common unit for all the system of units for the time now kg can be easily converted into 10 power 3 into grams and since it is per gram so per kilogram so it will be written as to the power of minus 1 similarly meter can be easily converted into centimeters as 10 power 2 centimeter to the power of 3 and seconds is common unit for all the systems so it will be kept as it is now the value given here is g is given as 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 that is going to be multiplied by this 10 power 3 which is going to be multiplied by the 10 power minus 1 10 power 3 is going to be multiplied by minus 1 that is going to give us 10 power minus 1 then that will be further multiplied as 10 power 2 again there is a power 3 so it is going to multiply 2 into 3 that is going to give us 10 power 6 then further there is no multiplier for the second so we can directly write the units as per gram centimeter cube per second square we have 10 power 3 then that is going to be multiplied by 10 power plus 6 then there is the unit that is gra per gram centimeter cube per second square now the uh, finally arranging the powers in the proper way there is a minus 11 then there is a minus 3 Total it gives minus 14 minus 14 plus 6 that is going to give us power as minus 8 so the final answer will be 6.67 into 10 power minus 8 per gram centimeter cube per second square that is the option A next question we have is the distance of the moon from the earth is about 60 times the radius of earth what will be the diameter of earth that is approximately in degrees as seen from the moon the options given given are 1 degree 2 degree 4 degree or 6 degree now according to the question what is given is if we say this is the earth if we say this is the earth this will be the diameter of the earth so that is going to be the distance of two times of re as the diameter is twice of the radius then the distance of the moon as we can say we can say this is the moon and if we draw a line joining the two objects we can have it like this 
what we need to find in this question is the angle subtended by the diameter of earth or the disk of the earth as seen from the moon we can call this angle as angle theta this is the moon and this is the earth the other quantity which is given in the question is the distance between the earth and the moon is given as 60 times of the radius of the earth so this can be written as 60 times of re so we have this as the given data now let's try to solve this question we know that from the method of parallax the, th the angle theta can be written as the opposite side that is going to be 2 re divided by 60 re so we can write directly as 1 by 30 radians because the units are in the SI system we, the options given are in the degrees so we have to convert this 1 by 30 degree radians into degrees so converting that theta equals 1 by 30 into 180 divided by pi so that is going to give us nearly a value of 2 degrees so the answer will be option B next question we have is the sun's angular diameter is measured to be 1920 seconds the distance of sun from the earth is 1.496 into 10 power 11 meter what is the diameter of the sun so we have to find the diameter of the sun in terms of meter and it is indirectly given as 1920 seconds that is as seen from the earth which will be the angular distance or the angle which is subtended which is going to be subtended by the sun or the disk of the sun as seen by a person standing on the surface of the earth the options given are 1.39 into 10 power 9 meter option b 1.39 into 10 power 10 meter option c 1.39 into 10 power 11 meter option d 1.39 into 10 power 12 meter now to solve this we need to have these calculations or we have to remember these values which is the conversion of degrees to radians that is going to give us 1 degree which gives us 0.0175 radians similarly if we do the calculation for seconds we are going to get sorry minutes if we do the calculation for minutes we have 1 minute equals 2.9 into 10 power minus 4 radians similarly we have 1 second equals 4.85 into 10 power minus 6 radians so the given quantities in the question are the distance between the sun and the earth is given as d equals 1.496 into 10 power 11 meters the other quantity which is given is we can take theta angle as 1920 seconds now converting this angle theta in terms of radians as we need to solve the question in terms of SI units we are going to convert this 1920 into that is radians that is going to be multiplied by 4.85 into 10 power minus 6 radians that gives us a value of 9.31 into 10 power minus 3 radian now we can calculate the distance d or the diameter d of the sun as d equals small d multiplied by theta so we can substitute the values as 9.31 into 10 power minus 3 multiplied by one point four nine six into ten power eleven that gives us a value of one point three nine into ten power nine meter so the correct answer will be option a here